Ricky, what's your boy, Georgia? You know what it is, it's Roddy Bo, what's happening, what's happening? Look like we are back in the video in another video. Y'all just listening with the first Dr. Umar video, so we have to come back with the part two. Um, but before we get started on this video, make sure you hit that like button, comment, subscribe, and to the people so they can get that good entertainment from your boy Georgia and Roddy Bo. Hello. As you dropping videos back to back to back, number bangers. Hello. And y'all enjoying them. So let's Hello. get right to the video, man. It's the snow cat. This is the prince of Pan Africanism, King Kong consciousness, international Ifa Tunde. His haircut is nice, though. I will say the that. notorious RBG. You gotta see Paul's in there, though. Oh, Minister of Education and Mental Health for the African Diaspora. You can't live in a white neighborhood, okay, and pay white people to make black conscious DVDs. Are you aware that your bitch ass <laughs> extra <laughs> lip gloss, what black man puts that much shiny shit on their lips? <laughs> what black man puts that much shiny <laughs> shit on their lips? Wait, I gotta say this, bro. I gotta say and this, bro. It depends on, but black people tend to have bigger lips than white people. So, so you got need a little bit of a little bit, uh, bro. What's petroleum jelly on the lips? Hello, because if you, it, I'd rather your lips be oily than hella dry. So you okay, know what put I'm it like this. Put it like this. If you're talking to a girl, right? Yeah. And she got chappy lips all the time. That's a problem. You cutting her off or what, what you doing, man? No, I'm going to just offer her some chapstick. Well, she still keep on coming around with some crusty lips. Then I offer her more chapstick. That's a simple fix. You can fix that. You don't they, I mean, uh, break up with your girl because you got chappy lips. You forget to put on chapstick. But that's a huge <laughs> don't turn Don't forget on chapstick. That could be a game changer. The you only look, game look. changer is, is, you feel me? You know how they say, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to Kevin Hart. I'm not going to steal the joke, but... You know how they say, like, if you got chappy lips, you smile fast enough, your lips will bleed. You know what I'm saying? So that's the only thing. Since I think I'm a funny guy, we gonna be laughing. So you can't have the bloody lips. You feel me? Yeah, it's just a bad look. Or just they all around. us to kiss and everything yeah. too. You feel me? You gotta it's keep just it rough. Up. It's gonna be rough. Yeah, or at least lick your lips. You know what I'm saying? But you can only lick your lips so much. That's the most of the moral story is keep some chapstick on. Yeah, bro. Stay strapped up. Hello. Wait. No. Yes, yeah, they stay strapped up too, though. Yeah, man, right. come on. Yeah, bro. condoms. We're not talking about uh, the weapons. Back them with your feminine ass. See, people <laughs> was telling me for the longest time that they thought that she was on some... Some sweet shit. Confusion, some sexual confusion <laughs> for the longest time. Who was he talking see, about? I got wait, 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 bro. I like how you used that. He didn't say, he's like, gay. He didn't want to say gay. Because so he just, that's cause you know, with the air we're yeah. now, you got to be real, you gotta be real, real you gotta careful mind with your said, words. He said, they told me he was on that confusion. confusion. <laughs> he's had a brief pause to think about it, too. Hey, I like the way he used that, though. That's, that's nice, though. That's what they say. I say sweet, though. I don't know who you're talking about, though. I gotta figure out. If you know what he's talking about in the comments, let leave us know. It, yeah, leave it, uh, leave I'm it below. Receipts on Never, I got receipts on that because I done already been told that you like letting dudes play with your booty hole. <laughs> Tyreek Nasheed <laughs> like letting dudes play with his booty hole. Oh, who is that? I think that's the Listen, other black conscious brother. I respect and love all <laughs> black men. All of us are suffering the psychological residuals of slavery. So I will speak and greet my brother even if he is not with an African woman. But I cannot respect him politically and I cannot trust him in the community because when you marry a woman, you marry her family, you marry her community, you marry her culture, you marry her race. When you marry a white woman, you are investing in white supremacy. There is no way you can stand with black people when you sleep with white folk. There is no way you can care as much about our issues as you need to when you have to be concerned about what your wife and her white family thinks about our agenda it is a contradiction period you got any thoughts on that brother i wonder what his thoughts would be if like let's say i'm a married mixed girl if he said any if you have a little bit of black and you go automatically gonna be characterized as black so you black he accepts you with a oh, okay, but okay. i'm saying as far as that you know what i'm saying what you thinking no, I think he's 100% right on that. You think so? Where, like, where he's looking at it as if you marry a white 
fam a woman, you're marrying a white family, mm -hmm. and you're marrying that community. Mm -hmm. But they, that community will never be able to understand what you're going through. Neither will that community ever fully have your 100% support. Oh, you don't think so? Not like a black person would. Hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm just saying. Like, just, like, just, like, just like for us, we can fight for women's rights, but women are probably going to have way more energy and way more passion towards that type of movement because they're in the movie. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. yeah, That's yeah, a good yeah. example right there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Say the like, Prince of Pan-Africanism is back. Dr. Umar's lecture because of the lies and deceit and deception and manipulation of a handful of unsuccessful, uncredentialed, non-Michigan resident degenerate trolls. Don't you let coons who don't even live in our state sabotage an event for us by our brother. Don't you dare let coons who don't even live in the state of Michigan, don't even live in the city of uh, Detroit. The leading coon lives in California. The leading coon lives in California, brothers and sisters. Call the college. Call the college and let them know that you support Dr. Umar. You support Thursday's lecture. You will be there. The lecture is free. And you don't want to hear nothing about no cancellation. The phone number to the college, 313-496-2634. The phone number to Wayne County Community College, 313. Don't tell me to calm my nerves. I'm calm. I'm going to block your ass for that. Don't, tell, don't give me no instructions. I'm going to give you an instruction. Build your community. Stop worrying about what I'm doing. Go build your community. Stop worrying about what I'm doing. Go build your community. Stop worrying about what I'm doing. I'm building a school. What you doing? I'm training parents on how to protect their children. What you doing? I'm in the prisons in a halfway house healing people with mental illness. What you doing? What you doing? I brought more black people to consciousness than any black person living, old or young. What are you doing? What are you doing? Where I'm at? Who knows where I'm at? Who knows where I'm at? If you follow Dr. Umar, you should know where I was. When did I take this picture? Where was I at? When did I take this picture? Where was I at? Africa. When did I take this picture? Where was I at? This picture was taken. I'm going to give Facebook a little bit of love. So we're talking about the principles of Team Pan-African. We're talking about the principles of the International Movement for the Independence and Protection of African People. We're talking about the principles of revolutionary Pan-African nationalism. Revolutionary Pan-African nationalism. Revolutionary Pan-African nationalism. So unity. All Africans are members of one family. One family. Whether the family speaks Portuguese whether the family speaks Spanish, whether the family speaks English, whether the family Hotep Queens, are you going to help me come dig up these ancestors? At dollar sign FDM. Wait, what did he say, bro? He said, bougie F Queens, are you going to help me dig up these ancestors? He, taught, he must be talking about the history on the ancestors. Oh, he better not be talking about uh, 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 like actually going in the in the in the cemetery. Oh, bro, he ain't that crazy, bro. Come on now. He, he gotta he gotta be more mindful. That kind of sounded crazy. G school, get on your cash app. Get on your cash app. Get on your cash app. Dollar sign FDMG school. You gonna spend twenty dollars on lunch? Can you sacrifice lunch for our boys? <laughs> You're going to spend a hundred dollars on those Timberlands. Can you sacrifice that hundred dollars in the name of black boys? How much money are you going to spend getting your nails done by the Chinese today? How much money are you going to spend getting your nails done by the Koreans today, black woman? Can you sacrifice your nail money today for black boys? Feminism was created by the CIA. Feminism was created by the CIA. The woman. Donations. Donations. <laughs> Donations. <laughs> Donations. <laughs> Donations. <laughs> Donations. <laughs> Gifts. Gifts. <laughs> Gifts. That would emphasize every word, bro. More gifts. More gifts. <laughs> More gifts. <laughs> Feel equal. Well, guess what? 
You can lift all the weights in the world and you'll never be 6'3", nigga. You can talk about my gut all day, but I'm sexy with mine. I'm fine. I'm cool in my skin. I can get rid of the gut, but you'll never be 6'3". I can get rid of the gut. Big Papa, nigga. That's why I'm Big Papa. <laughs> I can get rid of the gut, but you'll never be 6'3". On I'm February 7th. What is he talking about? Okay. He, he got beef with T uh -huh. Tyree Shadi. The brother was like, he said... <laughs> <laughs> and he said he got receipts. Yeah, the one that said he liked to get touched in his booty hole. Yeah. Yeah, I think he got beef with him. Yeah. We can't, and listen, let me say this, bro. Yeah. As black conscious <laughs> leaders in the community, bro, we can't be beefing with one another. If you go bro. beef, beef in private, don't beef there, bro. And I think oh, Gumar did try to keep it solid, you feel me? But bro? he probably brought it to the surface. Probably or something like that. So he had to just get him off Dr. the strip. Um, Dr. Umar, he moved, he moved professionally. That's I what I'm say, saying. I got so off the strip of him just having, you feel me, at, at being a man, he had to say something. What else was you gonna say though, bro? Bro, I forgot what was on the thing, bro. What was he just talking about? You remember? He was talking about the beef. He was talking about the 6'3 gut. He's oh, talking... don't call yourself Big Papa, bro. Like, let a woman call you that. Yeah, but I don't I don't even I don't even wanna be called Big Papa. I don't wanna be called Big Papa. Just call me Roddy Bo. Call me baby. I like I can, I, I can do baby. I, I don't want no Big Papa. Baby is cool, but after a while, oh, it is kind of fucking annoying, bro. Like I don't know, bro. I don't be calling women, babe. I feel you, bro. Our baby. But that's just how I am. Like, yeah. I can't you gotta respect it. the move, bro. Yeah, you can't. You know what I'm saying? Man. Move how you move, though. To the psycho-academic holocaust so we can eliminate miseducation, special education, psychiatric medication, juvenile incarceration, emotional frustration, and premature extermination. E5 named me because it was a divination that brought forth the name E5 Tunde Ogun Tade. My Yoruba name is E5 Tunde Ogun Tade. E5 Tunde, destiny has returned. Why did the heavens, why did the heavens name me at the Oyotunji African village November the 17th? Or 18th, was it? 2011, one week after my first visit to Nat Turner land, I show up at Oyo Tunji, get my first Yoruba divination from Chief Olighton, rest in peace. And Ifa tells the chief to name me Ifa Tunde. Destiny has returned. What does that mean? What does that mean? That means that the ancestors in heaven had a meeting. Frederick Douglass and Marcus Garvey sat down with Dr. King and Malcolm X and sat down with Harriet Tubman and Sojourn the Truth and sat down with Robert Sabukwe and Kalkwami and Krumah and sat down with His Majesty Emperor Haile Selassie the first and Menelik the second and sat down with Queen and Zinga Aya and Shantewa and, and Queen Mother. What is he talking about? You know what? I was just going to pause it too. It don't matter. You know what's good? The thing you can't take away from Umar is he knows how to gravitate his listeners, bro. Yeah. So even if you don't know what he's talking about, the way he speaks and the way he does it, it just gravitates you to listen. Because I just understand like, what he's like, saying. Just like the word consciously. That ain't a word. You remember that? Yeah. I see. Yeah, yeah I'm talking about. Just speak with confidence. That's it. And then he just has passion. So if you're black and then you, you feel me, you got any type of, you know what I'm saying? You, you like what he's talking about. Yeah, yeah, or you yeah. just want to be into like that Black Lives Matter boom push, which all black people should be. You're going to gravitate to that. I think he's talking about like the ancestral... Um, no, he's saying like, like he village. went to Africa yeah, and he and got they, renamed. Or he didn't get renamed. He, they established his name as African. They've been giving like, people like names and stuff. Boom. So his yeah. name that they, he got, it means destiny to come. Or yeah, something, something like that. Yeah. So or something like that. But the main thing I get from this is like he can talk. And he can talk well, and he can talk with passion, and people like to listen to him. And with confidence as well. That's, that's a, a gift, bro. That's another key confidence. That's bro. a gift. Danny of the Maroons of Jamaica sat down, and Steve Biko, and Patrice Lumumba, and Walt Tarodney, yeah, and Sekou Touré, and Samora Michelle sat down, and they said, we're going to give birth to one who will finish our work on the anniversary of the Nat Turner War. Ifa Tunde, destiny has returned. That means the ancestors have returned. Ogun Tade, Ogun wears the crown. Ogun Tade, 
Ogun wears the crown. So that's who I am. Don't get mad at me. The divination named He's you. a narcissist. Don't get, a bit. I didn't a get a black bit. history yeah. monster. Just a little bit. I didn't get a whole tep name out the black bookstore. I was named that, that, on the mat doing. during divination. As one brother the other day said, Dr. Umar, brother, I love you. I follow you, brother. I married a white girl 10 years ago, brother. Well, brother, <laughs> until you unmarry her, it's best you stay over there, brother. I appreciate you and I love you, but you are no use to me with that white woman on your arm, brother. Dr. Umar, let these black men love these white women, bro. Because maybe these black women ain't showing them no love. You feel me? Bro, you know a prime example? Boom. Look, I couldn't find a video. Anyways, like, comment, subscribe, share. We catch y'all next week, man. Please make more. It sounds very uh, chill.